this is the horse we had in the bitless bridle and he kept sneezing and rubbing his nose no matter how we adjust it and he pulled on it so he didn't like it at all so today we put him in a hackamore and he seems to be doing much better with the hackamore so sometimes the same with thing with bits when they're reacting you can switch your bits around and uh, try to see if something else works better for them you're doing good okay so we're just practicing steering and stopping to make sure he gets used to this before we go fast. You want to make sure your horse is used to all your equipment before you start doing too much with them. And we checked it on the ground first and we pulled on the reins and did all that before we even got on them because you want to make sure they're, you know, they don't hate it and they're going to rear up or something or it's causing pain. So always check it on the ground first, all your equipment, make sure they're okay with it. You can steer from the ground and pull on the rein before you get on them. He's doing nicely with this. He's much more collected. He's not leaning on it. He kind of got strung out with that um, bitless bridle if they didn't ride him correctly. So now we're going to flat walk him in this. But he did pretty well stopping, backing up, and making circles. Yep, so I'd keep going a little bit faster than that for his flat walk. Still a little faster. That's better. Oh, that Right there is perfect. And just see if you can keep that all the way around. Yeah, he's starting to get just a little bit lazier. So he doesn't have to be a lot faster, just more energy in his walk. So maybe a little bit more leg. That's better. So he's using himself. That looks really good, Lisa. There, his head went up a little bit, but you got it. You got it back down. Good job. He's in this direction, doing much better. I have the kids screaming in the background. Oh. Looks good. Yeah, his head, I think he's, he's getting he, it. Yep, yeah, looks much better.